um, when I first started I did 7.15, 1.15 and then when he started school I did afternoon so I could do the school run and then when he started senior school I then did like half nine, half two so I, I could get him used to going to senior school because my son's got special needs so you know the independence was a big thing and then obviously if they needed extra help on my days off then I would come in and help them when I could and now he's at university himself, so I'm more than often available to work the extra hours when needed. When I'm working five days, obviously, I need to still do doctor's appointments and things like that, and they've still been flexible around that. Um, and we do tend to have like earlier shifts or late shifts. So actually, if you want a bit of a lay-in in the morning, you can have that and you start a little bit later. Um, but again, if you want to have some plans in the afternoon, then you can do, because you'll start earlier and finish by kind of like three o'clock almost. So it is quite flexy in that. And there's days where actually you want to do a shorter day on one day, but do a few more hours on another day because of meetings or because of something else. And you can do that across the week. I've managed to complete a wellbeing course over some time. It was a few months ago now because I had an operation. But yeah, I can, I can do I can do my own goals as well. So, but yeah, well, I quite like it because then I can go home and do my housework on the days off. I can plan appointments on those two days and then go to work at three and do extra if I they need me in. I think um, it's the best kind of like how I've worked. It's the best really because you get the weekend off and a day in the week and you definitely need that day in the week sometimes um, especially when it's so busy sometimes so that you know that day off um, you come back um, the next day and you feel refreshed so definitely um, it's good to have that day off during the week as well. <laughs>